No, usually it's dictated by the, 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 the needs of the script. Um, shooting on location can be dictated by economic considerations as well as aesthetic and, and creative ones. The economic fact of the matter is that if a scene takes place or the movie takes place in New York, you'll wind up shooting it in Toronto. Now, that isn't a choice. That's an economic necessity because they can shoot the picture more uh, economically in, uh, in Toronto than in New York. But creatively, the decision to shoot on location or, or to shoot on the soundstage uh, is usually done because of, of the natural resource that a location will give you. Because in effect, the location then becomes another character in the, in, in the s story. Um, suddenly something popped in my mind, speaking of another character, and how a location can give it to you. When I did Hustling with Lee Remick, <coughs> Hustling was about 8th Avenue uh, hookers in New York. Well, again, there was no way we could go to New York. It was, an, uh, it was a two-hour film for NBC, I believe. And the economics just wouldn't tolerate, except for maybe one day of second unit work. So I had to shoot the entire piece here in L.A. about young women who were prostitutes in the city of Manhattan on 8th Avenue. Now, how do you do that in L.A.? Now, there's a lot of stuff downtown now that looks quite a bit like the business district in New York, but 8th Avenue is a very specific look, and it was a down look. It was, a, it was uh, the kind of area that uh, the hookers were able to parade their wares on the sidewalk openly. Well, we needed a solution, because I knew if we shot on an, a Los Angeles street, even in Skid Row downtown, it was not going to look like New York. So the solution was long lens. By keeping the camera back across the street and having the actors uh, do all of their dialogue and play out the approach to the John and to the trick uh, and to each other and they're having all and I did entire scenes through a long lens shooting with cars going through the foreground now not particularly a novel technique but it was amazing how New York was brought to LA so vividly through the exclusion of the rest of the frame. If you saw the rest of the frame, you saw that it was not quite 8th Avenue. But because you didn't see that, you concentrated on the, the whores doing their, their job and having their arguments. All you were seeing was the, the, the afterglow of a car going by, the specific tiny little elements that give it a New York feeling, people walking in front of the lens. Uh, it's a technique I've used in several other instances and has been used quite frequently. Uh, but in this case, that became a character, and it came out of that feeling, by the way. I finally was able to arrive at that choice because I understood that 8th Avenue is a character in the movie. And uh, it was the breeding ground of what the movie was all about. And sure enough, it worked.